Hello Eurovision fans and LED3 fans, thank you so much for coming to my channel. Today I want to talk about the meaning behind the song Mamasht by the band LED3, the Croatian representative in Eurovision 2023. Yesterday I did a rating video on the entry telling you about my first, experience, my first impression and how baffled I was and how uh, crazy it felt felt and uh, my interpretation of the lyrics I gave some interpretations and you guys um, commented a lot thank you for that explaining what the song is about what references there are in the song and I thought I would make a video so people understand the song better and really appreciate it more so I want to start by talking about the band behind the song, which is Led 3, and they are very, very famous all across the Balkans and former Yugoslavia, which is probably why they won the Croatian final, national final for Eurovision. They're very avant-garde and they have like a concept art vibe about them. And there was one comment uh, under the video, which I found very cool and very fitting for this band. And that was, they are like a musical Monty Python, the British comedy group. And I find that very interesting. And they like to provoke people, especially conservatives, with nudity and crassness and their crazy performances. So I really do appreciate this band more now that you've explained it to me a bit more. And I wanted to show you the discography of the band because it, I think it also shows what kind of band they are. The titles alone. So you have Two Dogs Fucking was their first song, uh, their first album. And then I read that Netru Veno actually means uh, not able to listen or something. And there was no songs on this album. And they sold uh, 350 copies of this album, which is, I find, really funny, I have to say. Then you have Bombardment of Serbia, um, Life Cunt, <laughs> Faith by Dick, and Thank You, Lord. And the last one, which is especially funny to me because I'm German, Angela Merkel, uh, bullshitting. Yeah. So you see what kind of band they are and what kinds of references they like to make and how they like to shock. And now I want to talk about the meaning of the song title, which is Mama Szt. And Szt is actually a letter in the Russian alphabet, which you can see here. So Szt is apparently referring to Russia and then mother. Russia's representation since medieval times has been female and has been a symbol of motherhood. So mother can refer to Russia as well. So you have two allusions here to Russia Szt, because of the Russian alphabet and mother Russia as the personification of the country. So the song is probably about Russia and the invasion of Ukraine. And now I want to talk about the lyrics of the song and the first sentence that is repeated many, many times during the performance is mom bought a tractor. Now my first interpretation in the first video was that this is about the tractors used by Ukrainian farmers to tow Russian military equipment and I still think that's quite valid. But um, a lot of you said that it is actually alluding to Lukashenko gifting a tractor to Vladimir Putin for his 70th birthday. What an amazing birthday gift. So again, it is making reference to Russia in this case, uh, quite apparently. Now, the lyrics go on and there aren't that many different lyrics during the song, but that really drives the message, message home, I think. So the next couple of sentences are mom loved a moron. And if we remember mom, mother Russia, mother Russia loves a moron. Who could the moron be? I'm leaving that up for your interpretation. And then mom, I'm going to war. And in Croatian, psychopath and war actually rhyme. So psychopath idem urat. Um, really cool alliteration there or rhyming there. I really like that. And let's see the next lyrics. A crocodile psychopath. Now, I didn't really get this and you explained it to me. 
There are several different interpretations you can have. First is Boris Johnson said about Putin and about talking to Putin about achieving peace. You will not talk to a crocodile when it's got your leg in its jaws. So it could be talking about this. However, crocodile is also a horrible drug in use in Russia. It's called the zombie drug. I'm not going to show you pictures because it's quite horrific actually what is happening to people taking this drug and so it could also be about this and this causing the little psychopath to want to go to war and then another one i had is crocodile tears and krokodilstränen in german not sure whether this connection exists in croatian as well crocodile tears meaning that you're pretending that you actually care which the russian government is probably doing when it talks about the dead soldiers and the dead children and so on. So another possible meaning for this. Then we have the outfits and the performance. Here you can see the lead singer with his mustache and his coat. I thought it was Hitler. I think he looks quite a bit like Hitler, but he also looks like Stalin because they wore quite similar um, uniforms actually both are crazy dictators so it makes sense and they're probably alluding to all crazy dictators in this song so both interpretations I think are valid and he is wearing this uh, pink very effeminate coat <laughs> I don't know how to call it and he's wearing makeup he looks like a drag Stalin and this probably alludes to the LGBT community in different countries which is always the first target of crazy dictators because it's just so easy very very powerful then you have armageddon nonna which is another part of the lyrics and i was told that nonna is grandma in croatian so again alluding to this um, female figure and nonna because the band is from rieka which has a lot of italian influences because it was part of italy from world war one to world war two and of course nonna is also the italian word for uh, grandmother and amageddon because it makes reference to putin always threatening europe and ukraine with a nuclear strike and you can see there in the performance with the two rockets being lit that armageddon is a real possibility now let's go on to the next thing i want to mention and this is actually really really cool if you look at this picture of the guy who enters the performance later on on his head you see Ninle. <laughs> sorry i can't really say it Ninle here Ninle, yes and if you change the le part to the front it's actually lenin so again making reference to russia i think he also looks like rasputin and this um, monk's uh, costume that he's wearing so uh, probably alluding to both rasputin and lenin as well and then i want to show you a screenshot of the performance which i found very very interesting because i feel like it looks like a soviet propaganda poster the background there's many different people like in the soviet propaganda the, the workers and the farmers and you also have these red beams going out of it which seems to me very very soviet in style so these are a few of the things i wanted to mention about the lyrics and the meaning behind the performance i hope you like it if you have even more interpretations please let me know i'm really interested in them i wanted to say hvala vam dragi hrvati for giving me all of these interpretations so i could use them in this video i hope you like it if you want more lyric interpretations reviews and predictions for eurovision 2023 please like and subscribe see you